All right, we finished harvesting peanuts. Now it's time to get back to plowing. Just do my quick walk around the plow and the tractor to see if I can find anything wrong. As I was coming here, I saw that this bottom blade here is no longer with us. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace that. Got a new one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on. All right, got the new one on that one. Came over here to this one, saw that this one had a nice long crack in it. Also has a chip off the edge, so I have a feeling this one's gonna break anytime soon. It's pretty loose here already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this one too. All done. Now time to service the rest of the tractor. Plowing again. Going about 5.6 miles an hour. Well, looks like I broke another one. Time to fix that one too. And another one's broken. And back to the field we go. Got it fixed. I'm currently out of fuel, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this tractor with, with some fuel, some good old diesel. Gonna right away service the plow and the tractor, get it ready for tomorrow, and then I gotta go head out to the shop. Well, first go get, get a trailer and then back to the shop, load up some wrap, and then bring that to a different field where they're stripping cotton. All right, this tractor is serviced. Let's go get that trailer. Perks of having a backup camera. Love it. All right, so there's still four rolls of wrap on here and they're gonna need one more pallet. So I'm still gonna go back to the shop and then load all this trash and then get another pallet. Got the trash all loaded off. Time to load up some wrap. Well, that was actually kind of difficult filming and loading up that pallet all, all by myself. But, got it loaded up there and time to strap it down and then head out back to the field. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Loading up wrap. And back to work he goes. All right, so I was just barely helping my cousin load up some more wrap on the stripper. He's gonna continue stripping some cotton for the rest of the night. And well, I don't think Bobby's gonna work for another few hours. So now I gotta go head back to our other shop where I just was, where I was loading up wrap. I'm gonna hook on our welder trailer. My brother broke something on the air seat. Well, I guess he didn't pretend to be broken. It was just broke from wear and tear, I guess. And so I gotta go hook on the welder trailer, bring it back to town, closer to where he is, and then hopefully fix it tomorrow morning. So as I mentioned yesterday, our air seater broke. And where it broke is right back here by the units. We have already previously welded it before. We put a little plate on top and on bottom, but I guess that didn't hold and it cracked and broke again. So now it's completely off of there. So now we're gonna need to weld and fix that today yet. Well, instead of fixing this that broke right here, we decided we're just gonna get a whole new bar and it's just a three, three inch square tubing. So we're just gonna, well, what I'm doing, I'm taking off all these units here and then we're gonna have to slide it out of there, maybe even torch it off and then put the new one in there and then put all these units back on. Got all the units off of there. Now it's time to tor torch that bar off of there. And I was gonna torch it off, but 
this right here broke off so easily and it has quite a bit of give to where it doesn't have to slide through all of the holes so it's pretty easy just to slide on right out now time for the new bar got it all fixed and put back together got our brand new square tubing now time to replace all these blades or shanks is whatever you call them they're kind of like double-sided they're still good on top but on the bottom they're pretty much gone so we're gonna take these off and then flip them around one down 50 more to go all done all right so to sum up what we've just done on this air seater completely today is first of all we put a new square tubing here for this back unit here that controls the uh, units for when it plants and for all these discs back here all these right here that cut into the ground that control or that that put the seed in the ground we replaced about eight bearings for all of those and also a bearing for this rolling basket right here we had to replace one bearing and then we had to uh, switch all the shanks around on the entire machine, flip them all around to where this newer side is on the bottom to where, because uh, this side is completely worn off already. So now we have all new sides already. We also put new chains on the tank where everything, oh, let me show you here, where everything turns and everything. This right here is a new chain, completely brand new. And on that side is also two more. Yeah, this machine has needed a lot of servicing today. Well, I guess it's as good as a time as any to get back to plowing. So, I am done plowing for the day. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm going to quickly put our two combines into the shop. And I also have my diesel tank here. I'm actually going to fill this up with diesel. And we have a tank up front that I'm also going to fill up with def. And then I'm gonna bring that to the field so my brother can use that for the tractor for his uh, that he's using. And then that's probably gonna be it for the day. Filling up the diesel. Filling it up with death. All right, so time to put the combines in the shop. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Well, there's chance for rain tomorrow, so don't wanna get the machines too wet because there's a lot of dust and dirt on there. And, if it rains on it, it gets all muddy and it's so much harder to clean. So I'm gonna park them in the shop. There's one, the other one. And there goes the second one. Good night combines. And thanks for watching.